Hello Aries, welcome to your June 2015 tarot scope. I'm going to shuffle the cards here and then lay them out and we'll get to the reading. So June 2015 for Aries. What have we got? Oh, it looks like a new beginning. Gosh, this world card has come up quite a bit for June. Okay, so Aries, of what I'm first seeing for June, at the beginning part of June, is that there's something that you're considering doing or beginning or leading on Ace of Wands or Ace of Rods is a new vigorous beginning. It, this is like the racer that races with the baton or that leads with the baton out in front of a parade. They're like the first person out of the gate. They're the person who leads a group. They have that enthusiasm and vigor and confidence and they just go out. They're ahead of the whole rest of the crowd. So. There's something, Page of Rods, tells me you're considering taking a leadership role or you're considering going out and being the first like to win a race. Maybe you're training for something where you're going to race or compete. You're considering it. You're optimistic. You're enthusiastic about it. Um, that's at the beginning of the month. And it may lead to something that is the end of an old era. It may, because these Ace of Rods is a one energy Page of Rods is is beginning optimism, considering things. Ten is the old cycle ending, so it's a one and a zero. It, it actually is a one, too, but it's saying beginning anew, beginning again. This is, this is needing to let go of whatever was in the past. This is saying I'm ready to launch out fresh. I'm willing to lead someone. I'm willing to let... You have to be willing to let go or forget about what pained you and what the old cycle is, because it's dead. It's not helping you anymore. This is a uh, ten of swords. So it's like all your old ideas about the past that really hurt you um, are ending. Here's another ten. This is, this is, you might move out of a place that was well established for a long time or leave a relationship. Or it's also possible that someone has passed away and they're leaving you an inheritance. Sometimes ten of coins can mean that. But there may be sadness in in what you're leaving behind. Tens are, again, the completion of a cycle, and because this ten of coins is in reverse, it may be an inheritance that you had hoped for that you don't actually receive. So there is, this is all like one beginning, beginning energy and letting go of what what has completed. So you have to be willing to let go of something that either hurt you, either was a, a death in the family or passing away of a loved one or f a dear friend or even giving up an old life. Often this can be a card of recovery or um, giving up an addiction. And it may lead you to it may lead you away from where you lived or it may be giving up an old structure, an old house, an old establishment that you're having to leave behind. Uh, again, this in reverse with this X tells me something. something's leaving the picture. But you might, you might be ready for it. You, it seems that you have the energy to, to leave and go forth into new lands, new territory, lead the charge. It's like the Pied Piper. He's, he's just leading everyone out. So if if you can relate to any of that, you now, now might be a good time to leave the old place, leave what's gone be before, start fresh. It's a fresh start. Um, the world is is behind you on this. Everything physical, mental, emotionally, spiritually, you're ready for it. Because it's in reverse, you may not um, be getting there. You may not believe in it. You may not believe that there's a good life out there for you. But there is. Everything you want, the world, is there for you. But because it's in reverse, it's telling me that you might doubt it. This card is also a card of recovery and leaving hardship behind and going into new new lands. I'm, you might even travel to a new land or new state. 
or a new place is what I'm going to say. You're traveling to a new place, uncharted territory, uncharted waters. This card is also a card of recovery. So between, between what I'm seeing here and here, there's some sort of recovery going on, some sort of leaving what happened before. This is Five of Swords, picking up the pieces after a battle, taking what you can. It's the new day is tomorrow. So there's there's something about rec you're recovering from something, Aries, uh, or there will be recovery from something if you can just leave the old behind. Death card also says, you know, it's the end of a cycle. Just cut that rose and let a new one bloom. It, every Everything has a season, you know, rose blooms and then the petals fall off and then a new rose blooms. So you're actually sitting in a good place. Empress is full of abundance and vitality and new life and getting a lot of new life. It's like spring is here for you, but you have to let go. It's almost commingled with this letting go of the old. There's, there's something that's died. There's something that's passed away, something that you need to let go of that's not serving you. It's dead. Um, and you need to allow this new spring to happen. It's really tied in with this old thing, old thing letting, letting go of the old thing. Um, and again, with this four of wands in reverse and the emperor in reverse, there's something about... Um, too much laws or rigidity, you're leaving an old regime. There, This may be a place of stuckness. It may be that your father passed away and his house just reminds you of that. Um, or that this is how it used to be. This Maybe you lived with your father or some sort of authority figure and you're now released from that. This is a lot of rigidity. Um, a lot of rules and regulations and how things go and you know this is an authority about how it goes and it, I'm seeing that you know this in line with death in line with the ten um, this is the old regime also or this is inheritance this is domestic bliss but because it's in reverse it's telling me you might be ready to walk away from this I'm, I'm getting the sense that you're walking away from something old that is dying or is, has been dead and you're you're ready to recover from it. You're ready to walk away from it. That's what the cards are telling me. And and towards the end of the month, you actually might find your own contentment. You might find that as you go off and explore the world in this new vigor, you find a lot of contentment and freedom from that. Um, it's telling me that there's some sort of bittersweet um, letting go of the past, letting go of the hardships, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, letting go of the hardships of the past. And then you may find Ten of, ten of um, Cups is saying, I'm fulfilled. I'm finding joy at the end of the rainbow. But look at, look at how many Tens you have here. There's a Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Coins, Death. Something, is, something big is ending for you. Something, something major. It's a major end of something. But you also have this beautiful new beginning that has the world. So if you have dreams or aspirations towards the beginning of the month, know that you're going to make it through it. You are. Empress is, you know, abundance, joy, vitality, new life. She's, in her card, there's often bunnies and waterfalls. And, you know, it's it's a lot of new, fresh energy, spring and summer, new life. And and this card couldn't be anything more than new life. It, this is card of spring em, embodied. So even though you may have suffered a major loss or you're ready to let go of something, you have you have the ability to go forward with it. With Ace of Rods and Page of Rods, you, you're like that um, baton leader out in front of the parade. So trust that you may find freedom along the road or whatever the new venture is. Be willing to let go of the past is what I'm going to say, Aries, um, because it's, it's dead and it's not, it's not feeding you. It's not doing anything for you. It may have some sadness, but you need to be willing to let that go. So keep, keep the past in the past and um, you're ready for something. You're ready to charge out anew. Okay, Aries, um, thanks, for, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and if you ever 
would like to book a private reading with me, you can always do that on my website, readingsbygwendolyn.com. And thanks for watching.